Election time just a little over a month away, and one of the most difficult races to forecast in this upcoming election, six weeks from tonight, is the race to become the next county executive in Baltimore County. Yeah, it's a good one. As part of our Your Voice, Your Vote series, we are taking a look at the race between Republican Al Redmer and Democrat John Olszewski. Now, no Republican has won the office of Baltimore County Executive since 1990. That was Roger Hayden, and here's one of the reasons why. According to the State Board of Elections, as of June, there were more than 500,000 registered voters in Baltimore County. More than 300,000 of them were Democrats. So, more than twice as many Democrats in Baltimore County as Republicans. Still, Republicans appear confident this could be their year. WMAR 2 News' Christian Schaefer has more on the race to lead Baltimore County. John Olszewski Jr. and Al Redmer are both lifelong residents of Baltimore County. They both survived tough primaries and they would both like to be the next Baltimore County executive. They even use similar terms when talking about why they want the job. I love Baltimore County. It's a, it's a beautiful place, uh, but we could do better. So I'm running to make uh, a good county even better. They both want to bring the county's schools up to date, open up the budget process, and attract new jobs. So who will voters in Baltimore County prefer? In the primary back in June, more than 84,000 Democrats voted, with Olszewski getting nearly 28,000 of those votes, significantly more than Al Redmer, who won his primary with just over 18,000 of the 32,545 votes cast by Republicans in Baltimore so County. That margin, uh, not no nearly bad. enough for Olszewski uh, to focus his campaign on Democratic voters alone. I take no voter for granted. Uh, we will absolutely reach out to every single voter. He may have to, because there will be another name on the ballot in November, Larry Hogan. A Goucher poll released last week showed Hogan has a massive 22-point lead over his Democratic challenger, Ben Jealous. It's safe to say that Al Redmer has tied his campaign tightly to that of Larry Hogan. I'm a Larry Hogan Republican. I'm a, I was a Larry Hogan Republican before there was a Larry Hogan in the governor's office. My interview with Al Redmer lasted about 15 minutes. In that time, he mentioned the name Larry Hogan not once. If you like Larry Hogan, I'm your guy. Not twice. Larry Hogan and Al Redmer for the next four years will be a great thing for Baltimore County. But a total of 17 times. For John Olszewski, the strategy is much different. This news conference on Sunday in Baltimore featured dozens of the state's top Democrats, including gubernatorial candidate Ben Jealous. Not seen here, the Democratic candidate for Baltimore County Executive. Olszewski says he does support Democrats on the ballot, but has not committed to making appearances with Ben Jealous. If they happen, they happen. Um, I'm, I'm not going out of my way to do it or to avoid it. Olszewski says during his eight years in the House of Delegates, he earned a reputation for working across the aisle, which he says would continue if he wins and Governor Hogan keeps his job. I could work with the Governor Jealous. I could work with the Governor Hogan. I have a long history of showing that uh, it doesn't matter who is in that role um, for me because ultimately it's about driving results for the residents of Baltimore County. Al Redmer serves as the Maryland Insurance Commissioner appointed by Larry Hogan, a fact he plans to continue hammering home to both Republican and Democratic voters in Baltimore County. I hope to take that close working relationship with Larry Hogan and use it to benefit uh, the citizens of Baltimore County. We're really lucky. Larry Hogan loves Baltimore County, he spends a lot of time here. The question for Olszewski, if Governor Hogan maintains his huge lead in the polls, could come down to whether he can convince voters in Baltimore County to split their ticket. People aren't voting for us based on what other candidates are doing up or down the ballot. They're going to look at our race and I believe make a decision based on, on what's happening here in Baltimore County. So about that event Sunday in Baltimore with Ben Jealous and the state's top Democrats, the spokesman for John Olszewski's campaign said the candidate had a previous scheduled meeting at that time, and he also says he had dad duty. Olszewski's daughter is two years old. Both Olszewski and Al Redmer said they, though, will continue to keep a tight focus on that race in Baltimore County, not the governor's race.